as usual. Something always starts happening right before I start streaming. Thankfully though, the cat decided to come in well before streaming. But as I was starting to set up, it's like the wind started to pick up. I don't understand. I can only hope that things will go well. And me postponing stream yesterday was not in vain, even though the power never ever flickered yesterday, even though that there was thunderstorms going on. So hopefully Princess Peach, it doesn't time. decide to do it to me today. In spite of the postponement yesterday, I'm hoping. We're going to go back through other areas first before we come back to this floor. Um, we're going to try to get the other stars and make sure that we also get all the sparklers saved. So I think we might have at least six, six or seven, max ten, I think, stars that we've left behind. And I think I might have gotten all the sparklers down here so far. I have not looked up where to get the stars that I've missed, but we just need to be a little bit thorough. Um, I find it really funny that I take so much longer to do video games because <laughs> I saw a uh, recently a video that was six hours something minutes long no commentary and i think it was a hundred percent of princess or uh, princess peach showtime i don't know what i was attempting to say at the first part of that sentence but e i miss stars here no i got all those i missed one there and i think these two were clear no, they're not. It was all one. Is this one fine? Okay, let's do the ninja one. Let's play. Hopefully I won't get too stuck. And I won't have to worry about looking up a guide to figure out where the one star is I've missed in nearly every... Uh... <laughs> nearly every stage. Watch them actually be very obvious, but because I was going through all these stages for the first time that I just didn't notice Each them. Time. Mm. Huh? It's actually a surprise that you can't skip the start. Little cutscenes. This should be actually early on. And the good thing along the way is that I will just be getting a lot of extra coins. This will this will save me from my my dress pattern buying addiction. I wonder if there is any uh, big secrets that I've missed or. Uh, what's it? Easter eggs? Oh, I can't get them right now. I gotta get the ninja first. Is there... Okay. Hi, Wisp. Yes, I will I will definitely be buying all the dresses. I just need I need a little bit more money to buy all the dresses. It's like my crippling cup addiction. But the thing is, I actually don't have as many cups as I thought I did. to be a five, five stars in? Yay. Ha, 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 ha. 
There's that one. Oh, by the way, I have this... Oh! Unless you, like, really, really, really like the taste of green tea. Like, the bitter bit of green tea. I found a ginger ale that has green, green, green tea in it. And the aftertaste of green tea is very potent. Still tastes pretty good. But not the taste I was expecting. I thought it would have been a smooth transition from ginger ale to green tea. Stay with me with Shantae and butterfly knives. Butterfly knives are really neat looking. Thank you for sending me the pictures again, by the way. You're welcome. When I when I get the other ones unlocked, I will try to remember to send them to. Ow, oh, dang it. My timing. Curse my timing. Is it matcha tea? I... With the way that the flavor is, I would assume it's matcha. Um, but it's just this green tea with ginger ale. I think it's the Schweppes. Schweppes brand? I don't have the bottle with me. I just poured a lot in a cup. And I didn't realize this until I saw an advertisement for it, but it was it's also in the can, so I don't understand why my brain didn't put two and two together. Um, the spiced Coca-Cola is raspberry flavored. And I can see the reason why a lot of people don't like it. And I didn't realize it was spiced, like, raspberry, instead of it being what you, what you would think spiced Coca-Cola would be. Okay. I think the hallways are safe now that the demons are gone. The demons. What demons? What hall- what hallways has demons? Okay, so it should... Maybe it should be somewhere around here. Maybe I have to climb the trees. Is there a place I could pose over here? Yeah, there it is. This is... Oh, it isn't. Nope, that's just coins. Oh, children. Yes, yes. Depending on the child. Can be little... Little... What? Devil spawns? No. See, this was also coins. I can't jump anywhere back there. Is it this one? Did I miss this one? Well, these are all coins. It was just right there? No wonder I didn't see it. I wonder if I can... There we go. No, I can't actually jump up there. It, oh, yes. Okay. Yes, we found it. Now we just gotta get to the end.
I still think this one probably has to be the best music of all the ones I've heard so far in this game. The Elder. You've ordered Misa Robin. I found a new restaurant I'm addicted to. I, I have found, um, I have found a lot of Asian food stores, uh, nearby and I'm, I'm so very happy about it. There is a, a there is a market that I want to go to with cold bags, insulated bags, so I can bring it, um, home with me. I need, I want. Next time I, I or at some point go grocery shopping, I need to go into that store and find more more snacks. Yeah. I think I might try the uh, eating the tempura snacks today that I got. I have some of the, uh, the hard candy on my desk of the assorted one that's melon. Um, and these all, all these other ones are assorted like peach flavors. I opened up the melon candy bag and it smelled like honeydew and it was, ah, oh, so, it smells so good. So oh. I give her a adjusting my pillows. I missed out on coins. I should have done that. See, now I got them all. And I get to move a whole rock. ramen. I might actually want to make ramen later. Ramen sounds like a good idea for dinner later. It's done. I was given a Subway sandwich Thank last you. night. They went a little they went a little heavy handed on the on the spice that, uh, of a uh, spicy sauce choice that I had for, for the tuna sandwich. Not really good for in the morning when you already have drainage. Tastes very good though. I love getting the the foot long subway sandwiches and eating uh the other half the next day. It's it's really um it feels like kind of cost effective to to buy the bigger sandwich and have more later. I know some people don't like uh the concept of doing that and putting it in the fridge, but usually if you put it in parchment paper or roll it up in parchment paper, you don't get, like, too soggy of a bread. Because it really is kind of difficult to toast it again after it's already been toasted and has all the ingredients on it. Showtime. I can at least say I, don't, I won't be, like, um, one other VTuber I know that has abused some uh, Subway sandwiches before. Only have the sandwich next day. Any anything beyond that is 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 bad.
You know, despite it being really windy outside and it being raining for the past couple of days, it's actually pretty sunny outside. Thankfully. So... I think the one that I missed was on one of the horseback rides. Thought to be... Thought to be vigilant. that they had a full-on ketchup bottle. Or it looks like a just... Ketchup? Tomato juice? There you are. I like how they also have indicators of cactus on the windows. No, I'm gonna miss the coins! This is a good way to continue to get the rest of the stars, just so... You have a good indicator of where you are in the star, um, table. As I get over, over 100 or near 100 per per stage. Because I think every boss dress is about 300. Oh. Get this down here. Nobody's here. Don't do that. I don't have the means to block you yet. I wonder if I still have Tonkatsu Robin. Wait, hold on. I didn't notice this. Wow. Oh my goodness, that's so cute. Yeah. Wow. How have I not noticed this? <laughs> oh, that's so adorable. <laughs> you can have her slide down the railing of the stairs. And then she does a little pose at the end. That's so cute. You're okay, buddy. Thank you for the ribbon that I've already gotten. And now to become a cowboy. I do wonder if they're, they are going to give us a dress at the end or a, a new outfit at the end due to that empty slot we see in the, the outfits. There's no way that they won't make it symmetrical. Oh, 
Oh, so cute. Now I'm ready to ride. I will do this much better than I did last time, hopefully. Pretty precise. Kind of missed there. Getting a gold dress if you 100% the game. That would be. That would be beautiful. I want it to be sparkling. It need. It needs the the gold sparkle to it. She needs to be sparkling in the sunlight. And see, see, like how this horse sparkles? That's what I want the dress to do. I'm gonna need to go through my photo album, delete some things. again wait hold on no i missed one previously but not the one that i missed before oh yes it was this one is this one that i need to get cool Yo. I may have missed one that I've gotten previously, but that's fine. That's not that's not the point why we're here. We're here for coins and stars we've missed. Hi Wubs, how are you feeling? Are you feeling better now? We're kind of speed running through these older stages. I don't know why I'm retaking pictures of this area. Give me that barrel. Ow. smoother. I got hit once, but that was so much better. Goodbye, puppet. I think the weather forecast changed where it's not actually says that it's going to ha have hail anymore. 
I'm hoping that stays the same, but I do know, I think it says it's supposed to have, uh, more rain later on. And I think thunderstorms into the night. But so far, it's clear right now. Let's hope that I can get through the rest of uh, Princess Peach Showtime today. And we won't have to mess with, uh, we won't have to mess with scheduling again. I like being able to have schedules keep to it. I feel like that's what helps motivate me to stream almost consistently. Unless something goes wrong. Okay, down with the first floor. Onwards to the second. You're fine now, so I'm from the back pain not going away. Yeah. When you're extra weak, the back pain really gets any sort of joint pain, bodily pain, kind of lingers for a while until you gain your strength back. And then there is if you get a cough that that insistently lasts for months after your um, that you recover from being sick. So I missed two there. Missed the one and the ribbon there. Miss two. And that was okay. So let's go into I think actually the figure skater one might not take as long. So let's do that one first. Let's play. Yeah, there is there is an eclipse on the eighth. I'm um, I'm hoping that I can see it. I'll have to see uh I'll have to look at what time frame the solar eclipse is happening. Peach time. Make sure you're not looking directly at the sun unless you have specified glasses for it. Because even though an eclipse is happening, the sun still has UV rays coming through. So don't look directly with your eyeballs. You're gonna get, you're gonna sunburn your retinas. Just turn your lights off, boom, the same thing. <laughs> Eclipses are really neat, though. The phenomenon of the world. Cool beans. So I missed one early on and then near the end. Excuse me as I drink some coffee. Is it weird that I don't drink certain things traditionally? Because I have... Um... I have horchata powder. And I mix it up with uh, some instant coffee. And then there's also like some brown sugar syrup in there. Because traditionally horcha is uh, served cold, isn't it? I, I'm having it as hot coffee form and it's pretty good. The flavors together are very nice.
Okay, I don't see any... I don't see any spotlights, not that I could use them yet. Hello, hello, hello. I hope that the weather uh, clears up properly and I won't have to worry about streaming and having my computer shut off. I really need to look to see if there is... I wonder if I can find on Throne or maybe I have to do it through Amazon for getting a backup power supply for for the computer. Because then if I get a backup power supply, I won't have to worry about the actual computer flickering on and off. Um, Maybe like add one singular monitor to it and then I can, I can make sure that the computer shuts off properly so it doesn't have any power surges going through it anymore. Because if the weather's going to be this unpredictable, I need precautions. The Sour Bunch, despite their, um... Despite their evil tendencies, you have to give them credit for being talented in each one of these settings. A diesel generator, no. Okay, that's the third one. And the next few areas, we're going to have to be careful. I'm thinking probably this one is I need to look for a spotlight. I think maybe the reason why I missed so many of these... Um, the stars in this one is because I was so enamored with the way that she was moving around that I did not pay attention to my surroundings. Iso Ramen. another one where the music is just so pretty oh I think I remember where I actually missed the I think it's because I messed up on one of the spins on this one yes I I am playing to play Shin Megami Tensei this Saturday Later on today and tomorrow, I'm also going to do some grinding because I have not really touched it because I've gotten so far into playing uh, Stardew with friends outside of stream. That's where I lost this this star. I missed one of the jumps. Perfect 
Yeah, 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 yeah. That is definitely this one. Oh, spin. Okay, good. Oh, oh, no. Please! No, I this one! Watch it back. Okay, reset. How does one do this? How does one be graceful and also get all of the time things? Each time. It has to be that one singular one, doesn't it? One star that decides to be a goober. I'm gonna skip everything else. Only thing I'm worried about is coins. It looks like some of them that you can get them at the same time, but... How graceful I am is... Is dubious at best. I wonder if Peach can get dizzy. I don't think she can. That'd be a cute animation if they did that. I wish you could restart on checkpoints. Me too. Thankfully, the the actual the actual stages are not too long. So as long as I get this one, even if I miss the next one, I can just restart it from the beginning, rather than restarting and attempting to get two stars at the same time. She has that dancer set up. She doesn't have to worry about getting dizzy from spinning. Cause she do she's doing that a very specific type of head turn. It's kind of where you turn your head first and then go into the spin. You know what would be equally as fun since we talked about wanting a Daisy game before? Um, I do want more Luigi games. But you know what would be hilariously funny if somebody modded Luigi into this game? I don't feel like it would be a wrong game. It would it I I feel like he would still fit. give him outfits like this too it's still fit it'd be a great game I just gotta do this properly. Yeah, your neck would hurt doing it. Um, if you have upper upper neck muscle problems. Yeah, Luigi and Princess Peach's dress, please. Not that people haven't seen fan art of that already. This is where 
of my Nintendo controller uh, button scheme has issues because I keep forgetting which ones jump and which which ones spin. Yeah. Now don't mess this up. Don't mess this up. It did it didn't still miss it? What the fudge? Ah! Uh, which way am I supposed to be going? Was uh, am I supposed to do the three spins first and then the jump? Maybe that makes more sense. That probably makes more sense. Let's do that. Speed run. <laughs> Goodbye, gotta go. I know face. And here I was saying when I went into this one, it's like, oh, this won't take too much time. It takes, it's taking time. the heck you I hit I hit you with the ribbon what happened good afternoon yeah I think I think the spins definitely spawned first, so that's why it was going away too quickly. Yeah, I did jinx myself. Isn't that nice? I do this every time. I shouldn't say anything before I go into somewhere. It's like, oh, this will take no time at all, and then there's four hours later. If I ever say that at the start of the stream, it's like, oh, this will be a short stream. No, it's gonna be at least two to three hours longer than the initial like, how long it takes to beat the game. Because I'll have games where it says, oh, you'll finish this in an hour or two. And I've gone for four or five. And it's either because I'm being too thorough or I'm playing a horror game and I can't progress. Always, always, always will I jinx myself in various ways. There's also times where I don't have to say it and one of you guys sa uh, says it and then it jinx me because I have it in my subconscious. See, right now I'm going through the old stages that I missed stars on before I go to the new stages on the fifth floor and then attempt to do the boss fight. Oh, also that I'm getting the rest of the sparklers first, too. I have gotten all the ones that are currently available, but until I do the fifth floor, um, I have a couple more sparklers to get. New solution we start betting on which star you miss nah feels feels me in this particular case yeah the new ones you you guys were betting on which one i would miss and that was almost always getting all the stars after that maybe it's like it's the same thing of the concept of 
break a leg when you tell somebody good luck before they go on stage because telling them good luck is going to mean disaster. Spin is B, jump is A. Spin is B, jump is A. With the practice one, they give you ones that don't disappear, but if you don't know the routine, it just messes things up. Okay, make sure that I go onto the right side when that three bit comes up. Better did I get them all? Yes! Finally! Okay. Now I can't mess this next one up. One more star. One more star. Hi. Hi. Mm. Yay. I just had to adjust myself and then it worked out. You pompous figure skater. details that they put in the movements is beautiful. Okay. So... Is it just this that I missed right here specifically? Is this what I missed? Please let this be the easy one. And then I just have to worry about the, the boss fight and then that's pretty good. Is that what this is? I did miss the spotlight. Cool beans. Lovely. Good. I was worried I was going to have to do something more complicated. Yeah, do stay sane, Wisp. We... we need you to be sane. Because nothing is nothing's worse than a than a crazy custodian. 
as we've seen in all horror movies, all all can't or er, horror school movies. The custodian's the crazy one, usually. A nice voice for him, even though it's all just in general noises. Spin with me. He doesn't know proper spinning form. Yeah. I have to say his outfit is really sparkly. glorious finish too late for that i lost my mind five years ago i mean i feel like you're probably holding on by a thread you still have enough sanity you have enough sanity to not go full feral mode Janitor jumpsuit and a fire axe. Banished by the power of dance. See, Peach is, Peach is a lady of many talents. She can figure skate, she can dance, she can sing. That's done. Oh, come on. Look how beautiful. It's just stunning. It's just gorgeous. Okay, onward to detective. Got to find the ribbon and the fifth star. I wonder, does she go on the cat sh shelf? She didn't. I currently have one cat underneath my bed. She has left this room twice today after sleeping on the bed with me all night. She scratched to get in. Someone let her in. She sniffed around for a little bit, then wanted to leave, and then desperately wanted back in. And now she's underneath the bed somewhere. Under the bed cat cam? No, we're, I, I really don't think that I'm going to put the under the bed cat cam. She is all the way underneath where she has stolen a, a hand towel, tea towel. She's underneath where the headboard is. And she's completely comfortable underneath there. I don't want to forsake her hiding spot, her little hidey hole. The only times that I will I will do that is when she has one little poopy butt and she's trying to hide away from me. Speaking of which, I need to enlist help so I can chop her butt her uh her butt hair off. I think it's probably about time. It's been quite a while since I've clipped both Binx's and Emily's butt hair. <laughs> they have little pantaloons in in the form of uh, fluffy fluffy fur, and every once in a while they can get a little bit. Um, <laughs> Get like 
get a little gross because both of them like to eat hair. Well, not so much Emily as, as Banks does, so sometimes he'll get stuff stuck in his butt. And then he he'll try to he'll try to like get it off by himself and do an absolutely horrid job. And I gotta clean it up. So I might need to might need to fix that poopy butt of his. It's like a feather duster of fur that just gets covered in stuff. The consequences of having cats with long hair. I won't say short hair is without its also consequences because there's no cat that doesn't shed at least five pounds of its own weight in fur. To the point that you're literally eating it and it's everywhere. Highly recommend, if you can, scissors also work, uh, work, but having a trimmer is one of the best things that you can do with having a cat with long hair, especially for their toes. One for their butt, one for their toes. Star, bolt, cloud, sun. Okay. I almost forgot briefly that I could press B instead of A. I had to press B to ribbon to interact. It's also good to know that there is absolutely no stars that will end up in here in the transformation sequence area. Back to that plastic duck simulator game, Peach. You're just, you're just gone, and I think you got replaced by King Duck. <laughs> oh no! I've been officially pronounced dead. I thought she was wearing a dress. It looks like she is wearing shorts underneath. That's so cute. I never noticed. This would also be a comfy winter cosplay. Nice layers. Get a pea coat. I know that nose anywhere. Mm -hmm. But see, when they do dresses in games like these, especially this one's a fixed camera, so we're not going to be able to really see anything. Um, but in the... Wait, in the olden days of, of Smash Bros, most of the time that a character had a dress, you would have a black abyss underneath the dress and I think there was only maybe it was the GameCube version that you actually she actually had bloomers on in that one and I think in ultimate that she has uh the black abyss of death underneath those dresses Now, was it here or there's a treasure chest right here? Okay, maybe there's a spotlight. Which... Wait, this one? Duck. I bought 
a duck simulator, but I don't think that I ever um, turned it on to try it out. Yay! Cool. Now I just get to finish it. I don't even have to worry about anything else. It wasn't melee, not that I would know. <laughs> Did you turn on camera view? Did you turn on camera view, Wiz? And did her kick upwards? Did you do that? I don't have to worry about being thorough. I can just power through and get coins. Beepota. Beep. Beep. <laughs> the mural's gone. Nice little seam right there. Almost flawless. And this one was going straight back through. It was right over here. Oh, whoops. Time to check the dirt. I plead the fifth. I'm not judging you whatsoever. You're completely fine. There's no judgment in this room. for more dress money. Grab that. We didn't get the ribbon here, so... Oh, I do need to be diligent still, just a bit. There's the key. Judgment free zone, yay. The only time that you will be judged ah. is if you have not taken care of yourself and you have not eaten, you have not hydrated, then I will judge you and be disappointed. But for the most part, as long as you're not hurting anybody, as long as you're not hurting yourself, as long as you're being kind and courteous, there is no judgment. Absolutely none. Yeah, has everyone taken their prescription and or vitamins today? Make sure you take your meds. You can be the most powerful character in any games. If Detective Peach finds you guilty, you're going into the timeout corner to think about what you did. <laughs> The only sucks about the indicator is that I don't know where the ribbons will usually be. Exists in judgeable condition. Nothing to see here. 
No, 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 no. Did you... Food. Food's good for you. Eat your food. I know that I lack hydration, but at least I eat food. Practice what you preach. I'm drinking stuff right now. May not be water at the moment, but it's still hydration nonetheless. Good, good, good. But you're too comfy. Do you have somebody that can bring you a snack? Which one was it again? It was... It was this one that was messed up, right? Okay. You were wrong. Because you stole camera and outfit. And I think it was the one in the middle with the popcorn. And the glasses was fine. You had a pop tart and a glass of whiskey? No. Yeah, and then... Okay. I think it was. Mm -hmm. The middle one was the wrong one. Because he stole popcorn. There we go. Sir, you've been sick. Why are you eating just a Pop-Tart? Of course. And alcohol. That's also gonna dehydrate you, you butthole. Huh. Where's the ribbon? Have I gotten any Ron intuition strikes? I actually did get a Ron intuition on the the statue before. But I have gotten a couple. Only because I was attempting to look for extra things. But I have had it to where I looked at something and it you lose one health because of it. Now then, is there... Because we're just about at the... Where the heck is this other ribbon? I'll just drink more peach to make... For the hydration. You... No. Alcohol is only going to make you dehydrated. That's not how... That's not... No. You can't drink more and be hydrated. It's not how it works for alcohol. Hmm. You had a couple of hot dogs and a glass of milk. Well, that's good in general. That's some sustenance. See, where did I miss the ribbon? Because this is the last... Where the heck's the ribbon? Mm -hmm. Case closed. Thank you so much. I could, I could picture that, that Peach can put just about literally any god or being into timeout for 10 minutes. Where the heck is this ribbon? It doesn't look like there was an indicator that I could look for the ribbon. Maybe it's in the beginning. Maybe it's somewhere in the beginning. So the figure skater one was finished and then sword was already all done. Did I miss a ribbon in this one too? No, just the two stars. Let's go, let's go brain bleed to look for the ribbon. Let's play. 
maybe it's somewhere in the beginning. Because there's no indicator in the line of stars like there is with ribbons. Or vice versa. All of the stars have an idea that you that there is a specific area that you could look for it. The, the ribbon is kind of all over the place. Each time. Huh? I'm to see if I can find it. Oh, really? It was in the beginning, right? In the beginning. Wow. Wow, I feel like a moron. Okay. Well, now we speed run this. It's right there! Well, actually, I'm not a moron because most of the time where you see something that you could walk past into like this, it's usually blocked off. So, no, that's not entirely... That's not entirely my fault. I want to imagine a Mary Poppins-style superhero that can stop time, trap people in dimensions, etc. But she only does it to naughty people for timeout purposes. <laughs> Mary Poppins super nanny. <laughs> it was an extra sneaky ribbon. Have we not seen many other sections to where it looks like you can actually walk back there for secrets purposes, but it blocks you off with the invisible wall? That's the one I wanted, but that's fine. <laughs> Sneaky mustache man with a suitcase in various odd places Fantastic. of all of these stages. <laughs> And any cutscene I can't skip. <gasps> Maybe they sort of expect you to get all of these all at once. Hmm. Why there's not a skip button for cutscenes after you've seen them before. I like having a skip button, but only in certain conditions do I like having the skip button. Because I don't like having a skip button if I can use it all the time by accident on cutscenes that I've definitely never seen before. But if I've seen it before and then the game acknowledges that I've seen it, then I would like the cutscene uh, skip button to be, to be there. Out of curiosity, can you go to the ribbon zone as the detective? I have no idea. I don't think that I can actually walk back there. Let me double check. Because I think it's technically... Yeah, because it's blocked off once you get the detective outfit. So you can only get that at the beginning. That's going to be hard for speedrunners. I wonder what would be... I'm pretty sure people can find a lot of cheatsy things to do with this game. I 
I don't actually find it too bad about not skipping in this case because a lot of the cutscenes are very nice to look at. Especially her transformation scenes. I love them a lot. So I don't mind um, not being able to skip because of how beautiful everything is. But those that are a little bit more impatient and or speedrunners, it's a little, a little funky. Mm -hmm. Hold to skips feels like the best solution for me. It avoids accidental ones, but still allows for people who want it. Yeah. Ah. That's why doing the programming of if you've seen it once already, then uh, having the skip button there is very nice. But I think probably actually I would agree that having a hold to skip might be better in general because then you can just have it all the time and you wouldn't have to worry about the program not... Recognizing or not recognizing whether or not you've had the cutscene before. Because I know that um, in Helldivers, they have it to, when you exit out of the game, they have you do a press and hold. The same thing with uh, buying things through the Superstore with that. They'll have you press and hold it so you don't accidentally buy something. So that's also really nice. Of course. It's good that you don't have to do these in order because then I would have to get the guy out of the sarcophagus. So actually, you could just go straight to these two and it'd be fine. Because there's finishing the game in a set period of time, and then there's finishing it 100%. So you would have to get all stars, all ribbons. Of course. Two different speed runs. Oh, this random thought um, popped up into my head. I tried out the Dragon's Dogma character creator. Well, and while it's absolutely amazing in the, um, the details and everything that you can do for it, I still wish it had a color slider instead of just pre-picked colors for everything. Because then you can't do crazy... You can't do crazy eye colors. You can't do crazy hair colors. It's all neutral for the most part. On it. Also, the gameplay of Dragon's Dogma is also really neat and unique. Go by Trapped Thief. You will probably be in that sarcophagus for the rest of your days. He you will become the living mummy. Case closed. Thank you so much. Well, hey, detective dress. Maybe that's mostly what the ribbons are for, is for dress styles. I didn't notice that until now. Have I played Dragon's Dogma 1? No, but my friend has. They've been playing it um, uh, since Dragon's Dogma 2 came out. Uh, they had a hankering to replay it. Okay, that's done. Just need to do this one. Which I missed two stars on. See, look.
look at that. That is that is the direct look that Peach will give you when you're about to go into timeout. DD1 was a chore to grind for level or for levels and the pounds never shut up. <laughs> I wonder if that's the same for Dragon's Dogma too. She's not mad, just disappointed. It's the worst thing to have Princess Peach disappointed in you. Peach time. Hasn't she, hasn't she sort of technically put Bowser in timeout before? Okay. Foreign and... Midway. There's that there. Stolen the jewelry. I'll look for secrets. I've already gotten the, the ribbon here, so probably don't have to worry too much about looking around. Three, three stars. In. Disappointed Peach is a face, a fate worth work. Oh god. Worse than death. Worse than death. There's that star. Which is technically the first one. Out of commission. That's the second. Yeah, this was the other ribbon. That was to get back his treasure. All of them in dapper suits. Cute little fedora hats. Let me in. Let me in. No, no, no. The Milady hats are something different. Those are Trilbies. These are Indiana Joan hats. I wonder how it got mixed up with uh, Trilbies and Fedoras. Because Fedoras, these ones, are wider brimmed. Well, the trip. Uh, the Trobies have the, the flipped up bits. Okay, somewhere after this, there is a star. Keep an eye out. I 
wonder Easy. why Trilby's also got so so popular back in the day too. <laughs> Leave it to me. There's so many people wearing it that you could see it in so many stores. Because yeah. they were capitalizing on the 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 so-called fedora hats. They look similar enough, I imagine. Yeah, they kind of, I mean, kind of. Was it here that I missed? Just, that I just in general missed it because it was... Maybe it was the bits and pieces that I missed? the heck there you are Ow. okay that's one problem solved it's always the ones that are just out of reach of the camera in place. Did that actually hurt me? I got the... I did get the rub in this one. No problem. I can't get over the cape flip. I just think of tuxedo masks there for every time. about the other stars I just need just need the ones that I missed is it in what if it's in one of the treasure chests it's a timed one So which one what is that one then? Oh, timing. Okay, so this one's really close then. Graciously look around our, at our surroundings.
I feel like there's a possibility that I could be over here. Oh, I guess not. Or maybe... Oh. Somewhere in this next area? Somewhere here? I've got this one. Where was... Where could the other one have possibly been? Ow. What? What? Where could that have been? Excuse me. See, I'm gonna finish this and then go back again. That's that one. Is I supposed to go past the door or? Got that. Hey. Ow. How is it even possible? I don't know. Yeah, maybe there could have been a spotlight in the room. definitely a spotlight of something or maybe or maybe I was supposed to maybe there's a possibility that there's somewhere I could walk into At least I got one of them. Yes. Once again, gotta get in there. Thank you. All of these poses are amazing. Nothing's better than seeing a lady in a suit that's uh, a suit or attire that's specific or usually specific to to gentlemen and then there's just something so elegant about it it's beautiful so before that room but somehow after I don't understand there has to be a secret room of some sort I like the kind of woman that can just kill me. <laughs> I love seeing fan art of a very strong uh, buff woman in armor. Each time. Like knight armor. There's just something really nice about it. It's kind of like seeing people in, uh, in suits. It's just something nice about it. Well, 
Let's go! Onwards. It's like seeing people with really strong muscly arms and like they're they're a good hug. They can give you a good hug. Yeah, it is the thing. That's why it's so nice. Suits. Formal dress wear. Like the princely outfits. So good. New outfit bodybuilder peach? No. I don't think that I could ever gain muscle like that. Appreciate the really firm hugs. <laughs> really firm hugs are nice. princess but i'm sure you can pull it off just eat your spinach <laughs> gain muscle through spinach An eye out for spotlights. Cause so we got the one that was over here. So a few more paces in. Broccoli, you can eat for, uh you can eat whatever vegetable or greens that you want. Maybe could be somewhere around here. They see something there. Did I do this one before? Oh yeah, because you're putting... Yes, yes, okay. I did go into this one before. Now. Yeah. Oh, she gave me this one. That doesn't go backwards. leads you to here.
So maybe it's somewhere in this room? No problem. Buff Peach looks intimidating, but gives you... Gives you pets like a kitty on her lap? No, actually, that's so nice. Uh, laying in somebody's lap or laying right next to them and have them play with your hair while you're drowsy is also very nice. Like when they, they, when somebody like entirely pulls your hair away from your, from your neck and then it's just, ah, it's so soothing. This is it. Mm -hmm. This is probably it. Thank goodness. We did miss a spotlight. There's just something nice with people playing with your hair when you're when when you're all relaxed and just nice. Did you know that surprisingly I don't have a lot of tickle spots? I have a weird tickle spot. Every other place, like you grab somebody's knees and they usually start getting really ticklish or their sides. I don't have that. Mine is really weird. I would say take a guess, but that would probably also be a little bit awkward. It is not my ears. I feel like that is also another common tickle spot place. You'd find out without fail. Mine is directly across my spine. Like on either side of my spine. If you take if you take like two fingers and you tap along my spine, those are my tickle spots. Like I said, it's just weird. I would give you pets like that anytime, Peach, but I don't want to make you sick. You just wash your hands. You wash your hands, they'll be fine. You were going to guess the small of my back, but the thing is, it's not directly the small of my back. It's just the spine. Along the length of the spine. On either side. Only those specific areas. Yours is the back of your leg. See, that's synonymous with like grabbing someone's knee. Yes. He's okay. Snails have spines. I do. A, I'm not a snail, so I of course I have a spine. I have vertebrae. I have the I have the whole almost human anatomy collection of bones, other than extra cartilage in my ears. Okay, that's done. 
Yay, look at that. Sparkly. And we got the detective dress for that one. Okay, let's go see if there's any extra dresses before we move on to the other floor. We're currently... Oh, up. Not that floor. You have to catch you off guard. Yeah, there's some people who are really resilient to... to being tickled. But I think it's probably because usually um, being tickled triggers the fight or flight response, if I remember correctly. So I'm guessing that some people, it, for those who are not as ticklish, it's probably that you don't have as much of a flight or fight response. Maybe. I don't know if there's scientific uh, backing behind that. Okay, give me this one. Nice. Give me that one. Lovely. And then it's all those dresses. All of those are also owned. Good, good, good. Now on to the third floor. This one, this one we missed one singular. One at the end, which I think was because I didn't get during the boss fight all three good cookies. That one's missing a ribbon and a star at the beginning. Okay, we'll do this one. It's gonna be elusive ribbons again. Are there insects that have bones? No, the, it's. I don't think any insects have bones. Peach the Sneech? No! <laughs> Hi, Jack. I have a spine, I promise. Technically, I can't show you my spine because it's in my body, but I promise I have a spine. Yeah, the entirety of them are exoskeletons. I'm glad you feel better. You and Webs have recovered from your cold. I can say the only time that I'm spineless, the only time that I'm spineless is when I'm playing horror games. Oh, I was thinking next week we might add a a horror like game to to the roster. Oh, that's not that one. Okay, second one is somewhere here. Was it one where I missed and didn't jump? Yes! Yes, it is! Okay. Yep, restart. I now I now remember exactly which one it was that I I completely missed.
But yeah, the wobbly leg of the horse is so cute. I love the fact that they have so many puppets in this game. All of the bosses are puppets. I think the only thing that's not a puppet is the actual little goons for the Sour Bunch. Do the Lethal Company solo challenge? That's scary. No. I wouldn't be able to bring enough money home by myself. I will get this. Oh. It's like they know right when I'm about to smack into something. this one. Pass this. There we go. I just gotta survive. And find the ribbon. Maybe somewhere up here there could be could be a spotlight I can go into. Oh, oh it's because I hesitated. Will it be a Mori? I, oop. Oh my God, why? Because I keep thinking I'm going to hit the sign. Oh my God. Uh, No, it's not going to be a Mori. Could it be somewhere here? Maybe it's... Where's my ribbon? I have a couple of ideas, but I'm not too... too sure which one I want to do next. I know one of them is probably going to make, um, Psy giggle. Uh... Because of a clip that they've seen before with a different YouTuber. There's a few potentials. There you are. You were just hiding behind here. Cool. Now that's done. Not, no, it's not Subnautica. Do not worry. That is not a game I really want to play. I will only play that game under very, 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 very specific conditions. <laughs> Which I think will only be like a, a goal for some time way in the future. <laughs> Oh, you butthole. Not that it really matters anyway. Already gone that star. Oh, 
already gone all of this. Specific conditions. Sai is there to, to offer emotional support in person. <laughs> I would need somebody to be cuddling me to play that game. I'm surprised that there's certain games that I played in general. I'm surprised I even play Abzu. Abzu is an absolutely gorgeous game, but there is times where I was very intimidated. Even though there's not really... There is not really a lot of things that can go wrong. unfair oh. I had no time to steer clear of this train I would support you, but not underwater situations. Yeah, no, no, no. The amount of fear that goes through my body when I see deep things in water. Thank you. I can't. Can't do it. You see the panic in me every time that there is a moment where they th uh, throw me into water in horror games where I can't get out of. The fear is real. My therapist income is maxed out because of my phobia. Yeah, I feel I feel and understand that because if you have very specific types of fears, too. There are certain things that you can come across completely by accident. And none of it is ever your fault. Because there's a few animal-related um, phobias. <clears throat> a few animal-related phobias that you can just see on a day-to-day -day basis, and it's awful. Fatal Frame? Fatal Frame would be a good game to play, but I don't know which Fatal Frame is a good one to play. Because I know that most of the ones that are available to me are some of the ones on Steam, which I've heard are a hit or miss, but I'm I'm not entirely sure. I think only some of the more recent 3D ones that are on Steam, because I think there's one that's related to, what, A Spirit of the Water or something? Oh my god, it's loud. The streets! Oh, I think I see. Okay. I did get the ribbon here. Just this guy here. Look at these goons in space Pikmin suits.
You're even terrified of orca plushies. I'm so sorry for that. Because then you, then if you happen to have like certain things in aquariums, but you can't really go to an aquarium in fear of walking into a plush toy that is your phobia. I wonder if they would ever make do make or do remakes for for older horror games. Just like enhance the graphics, not necessarily like changing story or anything. I do, I do have, in addition to fear of like the deep open ocean, which I think is like thalassophobia or something. I do have sharks in there too. Sharks are, sharks are terrifying. Even though I know I, I can, I can look at pictures of sharks. I can watch documentaries with it. I can, I can see all that. I just don't like the potential of being in the water with one, especially in deep depth, deep deep de depths of of ocean um because i know deep down uh sharks are just big puppies that will big puppy toddlers that will put their mouth on anything and eat anything and they just get curious uh orcas i feel like that that is a whole valid phobia because orcas are orcas are mean orcas are terrifying Yeah, I think I think it's Silent Hill 2 that's getting the remake. I don't know if they if they've actually set a time for it to come out yet. Silent Hill 2 remake and it's also getting a movie. I remember watching the 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 actual Silent Hill movie which was pretty interesting. It was like a a mishmash and conglomeration of other Silent Hill games together. Yeah, sh sharks are smooth with a kind of sandpapery kind of feeling to them. Yeah, or orcas are are terrifying and mean. That's why you see a lot of seals that will jump up onto people's boats and uh, shelter themselves from the orcas. Sharks' taste buds are that uh, are at the back of their mouths. They are puppy. <laughs> yeah, they're big puppies. You know another evil aquatic animal? Dolphins. Dolphins are another evil aquatic thing. They they do some pretty mean things as well in addition to orcas. There is videos and and photos of dolphins running into puffer fish so they'll puff up and release toxins which I think is also like getting the dolphin high or something and then they will I don't know if it's orcas or specifically dolphins but they will also um they'll push over and turn over sharks so that they're completely incapacitated <laughs> Amongst other things for dolphins. Bottlenose dolphins kill sharks for fun. Yeah, there you go. One time I read that an orca managed to catch and eat a moose. A moose? An orca managed to eat a moose. That's not something that I thought that I would ever hear. It's like when I came across that one video that keeps popping up on Instagram every uh, once in a blue moon. It is a deer eating a snake.
And it's one of the, it's one of the more horrifying things of seeing a deer do something that it doesn't normally do, but I know it, it does things for uh, for certain bits of nutrition. But seeing a deer eat a snake when you normally see it eat vegetation normally is is scary. I I'm a little bit further away. At a three, so almost near the end, I think, is where those ones are. Keep an eye out for sparkle spots. Straight up moose fight orca and vice versa. How? I feel like the orca would win if it's fighting a moose. Still, just the, the just the advantage of water. Okay, just about there. Oh, my little friends. I saw, I saw a smile. Oh, that was Peach's smile. What? My smile? Peach's smile? Peach is cute, though. Peach is always... Peach is always smiling. Where the little thieves go? It's probably not this one. Orcas are smart like ravens and they're still sinking boats. Yeah, I think I feel like orcas and whales probably have like a mental capacity and or memory kind of like elephants. This one's actually a little sneaky. Not sure which piece is uh, closer to a bodybuilder, this one or the Kung Fu. Well, this one has like enhancements for her to be able to pick up such heavy things. Acquiring specimens. Stop touching the thieves. the ones that you see in Super Paper Mario. Yay! Now where... Where are these two that I missed? Do we see any... We did that one. Is there a... No, okay. Oh, one sec, let me reset the audio. I hear the crinkly. There we are.
Don't touch the feet. We have confirmed Detective Peach is the most OP. She has the power to put gods in time out. <laughs> she has the power to put gods in jail. Oh, there it is. See, this one's also sneaky. That's one. This one surely has to be obvious. We'll be safe here. Little do they know. ball they were not safe whatsoever the, the hair on his head looks just garlic bulb oh maybe maybe the one that I miss is yes I know where it is will I be able to get this go around I don't know but if we miss it, we can speed run it. I think this one might have been gathering the crystal itself. Gonna be a little reckless. Yes, it is. It's because I was trying to save the thieves. We got it. We're good. Punch recklessly. Our resident Baymax. Oh, famous. Imagine an Iron Man RPG. That would actually be kind of cool. There's a lot of lore to Iron Man that you can go into. Cool, 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 cool. We're two hours into stream. Oh my god. Still getting the rest of these crystals. Now, that's completely done. This one was completely done. This one's missing two, isn't it? No, just the one at the end. I think I, I know how to do that one. This one's also missing just one. Okay. This one is just the boss. I just have to get to the end and make the cookies the way that I was supposed to be making them with the partner rather than by myself. We got to get three sets of perfect cookies. And still fill up all the cookie plates. Despite everything, this is my favorite peach. This one's my absolute favorite. I just, it's, mm, it's so cute. What's my favorite kind of cookie? 
The lemon, the those little bun lemon cookies that have powdered sugar on them. That and Pfeffer News. G uh, German gingerbread cookies. I'm probably not even pronouncing the actual word for it correctly. Um, German gingerbread cookies. Absolutely divine. The One of the best cookies. Yeah, Pfeffernus. Pfeffernus? Pfeffernus? Love it. I was hoping to find some this Christmas, but I did not find any. And I got uh, I got a few other gingerbread cookies uh, that were German brands. Germany here. <laughs> Best cookies. Love them. It's good enough, okay. I butcher a lot of words, so if I ever say something wrong, feel free to correct me. If I pronounce it incorrectly at all. For any reason. <laughs> Gotta go back and make some cookies. <laughs> Start off with cake decorating. Cookie decorating? Okay, no, cake decorating. delicious. It's gonna make me want more cake later. I need to take a... Gorgeous. I need to send the picture on Twitter of the carrot cake. Also, another really good cake there. Oh, that's kind of lopsided. I saw some of those cakes at um at the Asian store that I went to the other day. I should have really should have gotten some extra snacks in there. I also felt like I have I have sweet snacks at home. I shouldn't bring all of these. Next time I will grab more. Lopsided but still lovely. Okay. Yeah, it should just be the boss at the end, because we have the ribbon for this one as well. Exactly, do I stop the cookie? Does the chocolate have to be hitting it? See, that's too much. Okay, maybe that is just it, and then I need. I need a buddy to make the best cookie. If you had to do, uh, choose between Kirby Cafe or Princess Peach Cafe, oh, that's, that's, that's so difficult, though. Probably Kirby. I think I would probably go to Kirby instead. Huh. Let's see. 
Hey, that was uh, that was not enough. This place is so cool. Yeah, I think it's right when it turns rainbow is fine. Right when the chocolate drops down. I have to do it with friends to get the perfect cookie. See, that one's that one I mess up because it goes a little bit too fast with the extra there we go no you butt I'm in there At least it's not this one. <laughs> I don't have to worry about this one. It's just the last one. It's like you have to press the button less when you have more buddies with you because it, it's kind of like you're stirring faster. And that's supposed to give you two stars too. Does your controller vibrate with the timing? Actually, I, I need to... I don't know. Does this controller vibrate? Do I actually pay attention? Probably. Probably not. I'll I'll pay attention this time. To see if it does vibrate when the when it's ready to stop being stirred. Let's see. It does not. It does not vibrate. This is what I messed up on? What? Okay, I thought it was the... I thought it was a boss. What? what? Maybe it's because you can only do that one once. And I accidentally messed it up. <laughs> oh, it feels... I'm... <laughs> Holy monkey. Wow, I thought it was going to be di more difficult than that. It's just that one that I got wrong. <laughs> All the pumpkin boys. Cookies. It would seem like a, I, I, this may be a pro controller, but I don't know if it actually has the rumble function. Or at least not that I pay attention to, because it doesn't... It's not one of those more expensive pro controllers where it also has the means of using, like, amiibos with it. So it probably is just your basic, basic controller. I don't remember if it vibrates. Is she on the couch? Oh, she's still underneath the bed. Periodically looking at the cat cam to see if she's gone up on the shelf. I've been feeling so bad for beings the past couple of days with all the thunderstorms that are that have been going over. Poor baby. He does not like the noise of thunder. He will slink across the ground like low walking to the ground and he'll move in short spurts. Um, so he looks like he's being extra sneaky. And he's been standing by my legs, wrapping his tail around it. Poor thing is so scared. Let's play. This one is probably going to be also silly. 
Poor thing is afraid of so many loud noises, but he's such a big boy that you think that he would be really nonchalant about things with, with how big that he is. And he's a black cat, but he is an absolute scaredy cat that doesn't like loud noises. He doesn't like, uh, he doesn't like people that he doesn't know coming into the cottage. Poor thing will hide under the smallest thing that he can get himself into. This one's at the end. Okay. We just have to worry about the one. I do like how they sort of trick you with a coconut around here to make you think that uh, you're missing out on something if you don't get that coconut. But this is physically a coconut that you can't even get. Cheer up, turtle friend. <laughs> Huey does that too, but his big sister Blue supports and comforts him all. That's adorable. Emily will also be extremely kind to Binks. When he's in a, a mood that he's terrified. Because he'll go to her for reassurance sometimes, and it's also... It's such a cute interaction. Oh, that is all in my left ear. I think the cute thing that Binks does that Emily doesn't do because she's she sometimes can't be bothered by him. Um, he will yowl in the hallway. And he does that quite often when he's looking around for people or his sister. But he'll he'll deliberately go into certain rooms. And I feel like it's for him to hear his yowl. Emily will do that too sometimes when she's trying to look for people. Um, she'll also do the yowl like, where is everyone? He will drop what he's doing. Whether he's cuddling, laying down in bed, sleeping... If he hears her meow in the hallway, he will go to her. He will go find her and keep her company. She doesn't do the same for him, but she helps him in other ways. But it's still it's still so cute to see, to hear her howling in the other room and then him jumping down to go investigate. I love the way that cats interact with each other. If you're able to, I always highly recommend getting two cats at the same time because they definitely get very lonely. Okay, and I need to figure out where the star is. Ooh. Maybe it's also in a place where it's like just out of reach. 
have to make sure to be diligent about looking around for areas that I can interact with. It's been so cute. Whisper has been grooming Blue and she wags her tail like crazy. Oh. I've seen I've seen a video where a cat is grooming a pit bull. And the pit bull is just smiling and wagging his tail and has his head sitting on the couch so that the cat can groom him. It's so adorable. It's such a the cute they have the cutest smiles. Onward. Let me go. I gotta go. I can't go back that way. Hello. Warbles when I do that. That one's also here. The fourth one. I love it when my cat grooms himself besides me and then starts to lick me all. I haven't actually had these two cats uh, groom me, um, but I don't know if that's because uh, they're seeing me as parent rather than child. I know usually when a cat cleans you, they see they see you as their baby or a kitten. I think usually, or that that sometimes there, there is a higher ranking system with with cat tiers. You gotta love cat behavior. Okay. There's the ribbon man. These are all the eels. There's nothing else. So it's either in this area or the next area. There was this, which didn't have a star. I think I had coins. Yeah, it did. My aunt's cat, she was a hunter cat that would think we were helpless and bring us like birds, but not kill them. And uncracked eggs? They were trying to feed you. That's so cute. The concept that a cat just sees you as a, um, as a hairless baby. Or at least some of them do. And the, the thought process of that is just, I, it's so cute. 
Cats are so cute and so amazing. And whoever says that they hate cats, they just haven't met the right cat for them. It is somewhere. It has to be somewhere in this next room. Somewhere in this next room is this. Oh, yes, I'm just a moron. This is it, I'm a moron. Little tiny starfish is... Yeah, this is definitely it. Oh my god. My observation skills. First go around. I gotta make sure I'm diligent about the last levels that I haven't gone through yet. You know what I'm gonna do though? I... Oh, whoops. I'm gonna pause real quick. I'm going to take the last few bites of this sandwich. One moment. There's only like a little bit left of the sandwich. And I don't want it to go to waste. It's a tuna sandwich with a lot of veggies on it from Subway. Now that's the thing. Our cats are very, um, very good about not stealing food. And we've only ever given them uh, cat oriented food or cat specific food like their dry food wet food um treats the little churu packets they have not actually eaten human food unless they stole it from us as a kitten but they haven't done it since I have had previous cats though that have stolen the entire in the entire contents of my sandwich, not even the bread. Specifically the contents of the sandwich. And then I've had other cats that are have done the exact opposite. And that's how you learned to not leave uh bread on the floor for any period of time, even while you're bringing in groceries. Because my previous cat um, who passed away at the age of 18. She had a way with chewing through the plastic and uh, getting to a good like quarter of the loaf of bread. So then you would have to throw the majority of it out because she ate the crust and like the, a bit of the innards of the bread. <laughs> Never leave bread on the floor. Not, not when we had her.
It's not even the plastic that she wanted. She just chewed through it to get to the bread. But she was also a cat that normally you didn't... If you gave her bread by yourself on your own volition, she didn't want it. She wanted the forbidden bread. She wanted to be able to steal it to get the bread. Other than that, she didn't care. Is my cat scared of cucumbers? I have never done the cucumber thing to my cats. I found that so mean. are afraid of a lot of things but not not certain foods really hi Sai thank you very much there we go that's done. I tried the cucumber thing with Whisper. She just back legged, kicked it away from her. <laughs> Cutie. No, I found I I never tried to purposely scare my cats. Um. So I never did any of those trends where people were recording their cats and putting a cucumber behind them. Because I didn't have the heart to do it. You feel dead? Is it time to take a nap? Okay, that's done. This one was done. This one was finished. Cool. And this one was done. Okay, onward to the next four. You just woke up from your nap? Yay! Time for a water and a snack. Got to get some energy coursing through you. Kung Fu Tail was finished. That one was finished. That one's also good. That one was done. Okay. Next floor. Okay, cool. Oh, that's a nice picture too. Aw. So cute. See? Okay, so then the, does that mean that there's another floor? After this one? Ooh. Okay. So we got figure skater, mermaid, kung fu. Okay. We shall do mermaid. I, I opened up the the bag that has the melon candies in it and the bag smells amazing. It smells exactly like a sweetened honeydew. It's so nice. I'm gonna try eating some of those candies after stream. Oh no! Oh, it's a sunken 
ship? Ooh. Fish friends. So the ribbon was actually really close by this time. Little shells. There's one missing. This one? Uh, eh. You know what else sucks about all this rain is that I hurt. And I can't get comfortable to sleep. you are another sneaky one send you some I would send you some if it's really tasty I have to go back and get another bag Okay, just so I'm not missing out on anything. Starfish. Okay, can't turn those on. Another starfish across the floor in circular pattern. The bathroom ghost is flushing the toilet. Ew. They're trying to get the toilet water on you. Oh, I can't get <laughs> I can't get squished. Okay, sorry we're from the beginning. Good. If I if something like this happens, I could just die. Get up there and get her. beans we got it this time speaking of flushing toys you won't guess the bull dootery that happened to me today what happened i was changing my headphones out and i dropped one of the, my buds in the toilet and the auto flusher sent it down the drain <sighs> honestly i wouldn't want the earbud after it fell in the toilet 
but it does really add insult to injury and salt in your wounds and some lemon juice in there too when it just straight up flushes down the toilet. That's awful. Was that your last straw for the day when when the earbud dropped in the toilet? But only then did you notice that it got flushed down automatically. That's... I hope the rest of your day is better. Oh my goodness. Not even hit me. I'm breaking an artifact of a ship. It disperses into bubbles? Oh. Buddy. Oh, there's Wait, before I do that. Oh, can I not do the other one? Watch. Hmm? Oh, there we go. Oh, I missed one. Oh, I missed it. I was supposed to go. I was supposed to bring the fish down first. Can I still do that? Please don't push me forward. No! 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 Well, that's fine, I guess. To be honest, after having zero sleep and working just almost six hours, so I couldn't make a take a meal break. You couldn't get a meal break. Being hung. Oh, I'm so sorry. Did you treat yourself to some good food after? I hope you did. You deserve a treat. That's a lot of mermaids. Are we gonna are we gonna have to sing it? The power of song! Yeah, we gotta take it back with the power of music. can't resist
the other thing I missed? I missed the ribbon. Oh no, I got the ribbon. No, the ribbon was at the beginning. Oh no, I was thinking I'm missing the ribbon because it gives it to me at the last second. I just need that one. I gotta go back. I gotta go back. I know exactly where it is. Instead of opening up that bit to get to the eel, I have to bring the fish down. I know where I need to go. We're not moving on to uh, on the other stations until we get all the stars on this one. Back, 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 back. I can ignore everything else and just go straight for that star. Now we can save the mermaid sparkla. Let me back in. Welcome back. I'm so sorry that you have had a pretty crappy day, Sai. But I'm glad that you got good food, a decent nap, and hopefully the rest of your day is better. One of the reasons why I kind of hate earbuds because they always fall out of my ears too. You know what? I can actually just skip these, can't I? Yeah, the sports headphones that have the little band that goes around your neck is also very nice. I've had a few of those before. Why are they touching me now when they didn't touch me before? Get over there. Miraculously dodged them before. I don't under. I don't know.
In I go, and I use the fish for other things first. Goodbye, my fish buddy. I bring them over here. See, that was so easy. There we are. My duck self is no longer on this earth. Thank you, fish not getting the taco. No! Don't eat the fish buddies. That's sacrilege to eat the ones that you can talk to. Imagine being a mermaid, but still eating all of... Well, I mean... What would normally... Mermaids, even if they befriend fish, wouldn't they still be eating fish? Would that be cannibalism? As well? Because they're kind of part... Kind of actual fish. I pressed the wrong button again. Isn't that weird, though? How, how is it also we somehow always kind of talk? We kind of talk about cannibalism every once in a while, don't we? I think the worst uh, worst conversation that we had was uh, can uh, Ganon in his pig form. I think that was one of the first bouts of talking about cannibalism. <laughs> now we're talking about mermaids. Technically, if they eat fish, wouldn't that also be considered cannibalism? Maybe. Let's go. The game's going really well. Uh, we're on to the fifth floor now after going back and getting um the the stars in previous places so far so good we're doing decent that's just the normal urge human urge to eat i don't think you should be thinking about cannibalism though Brilliant. specifically Fish in the sea eat other fish all the time. It's fine. Okay, so so then can we consider it to be okay? And it's it's an okay thing. That one's sneaky. Look at this place. It's so pretty. of our float oh my goodness you can't have a parade with them around oh jump up there there we go
I was gonna be afraid if that said the second star. Happy Friday. Oh dear. I should have known. I'm resetting. This is at the beginning. <laughs> Cannibalism is eating a member of the same species. It would be like saying if we ate a chimp, would that be cannibalism? Because we're both primates. It's different. True, but the more with the morality of it be the same. Oh, uh, the jumping. The jumping is what gets me. A is for jumping, B is for uh, spinning. 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 I can't believe I already missed the second star that I had to reset. And then I saw to yeah. And I saw to do all the normal things to get make sure I get the other star. already missed one? I did. Oh my god. Okay. I'm not gonna reset for this one. Oh, I... I wasn't even paying attention. I could've caught it! Ah! I don't like this one. Oh my goodness, and there goes the ribbon. I don't like this one. This one sucks. This one sucks. I missed out on two. Eh. Oh, is this one has to be dip more difficult than the last one? I will reset after I finish. I I will get the last two stars and see. Cause I feel like I'll miss the other stars too. I'll do a I'll do a roundabout after this one. He's back. Hi. Hi. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, I see it. I see it down there. He's trying to mess everything up again. Peach, let's teach him a lesson. I see it down here. Hold on. <laughs> I think probably this one is the one that I've missed the most amount of stars on. Divine. Figure skating. Ugh. Okay. Onward. Onward.
Oh, it's such a nice purple. If only it wasn't evil. You may have guards, but I can still get to you just fine. Run straight into him. <laughs> hey, gotta do a redo. Gotta do a redo. Gotta get two stars. <laughs> two stars and a ribbon. Can't be as bad as when I went ice skating with Pam. Did you get bruises? I went ice skating once. And I I don't think that I tumbled hard enough to get bruises, but well, no, I bruised like a peach. Literally. No pun intended. I probably did bruise, but not as bad as I thought I would. I didn't deck myself on the ice though. Thankfully. <clears throat> Someday I'll have to do try out ice skating again or maybe like roller skates or something. Okay, get me back in there. And then I got a I got two sparklers to save and if I do maybe maybe it'd be good to get the two sparklers before I move on to the other other two rooms. Maybe I should just do the other two rooms and save the sparklers all together. That'll probably be better. Wee. Am I gonna have to make sure that I'm getting all of the... Oh, no. I'm gonna have to make sure that I get all of the, the things. It's gonna suck. No, wait, I have to get... I think I know what I'm supposed to do. My death perception with the figure skating is also pretty dookie. Oh, see, I missed it. <laughs> That's why I'm glad that I didn't decide to reset. Please get it, get it, get it. Cool. One of the ones I missed. Oh, 
I got it, I got it. Whoa, got it, got it, got it. I mean, I miss it entirely. Fudge. I missed one. How did I even? How? How is that even? How? I'm sorry. That was probably loud. I'm. I'm. I'm my apologies for your eardrums. Divine. One singular bit missed. Figure skating, the bane of my existence. I'm, I, I will assure you that no child will by themselves without the help of others would get these stars unless the child is more coordinated than i am then that's highly possible I'm paying attention. Pay attention. There we go. Holy monkey. Yay! Oh. I hope a child has more coordination than a snail piloting an elven mecha. <laughs> That's not what I am. That's not what I am. Flashbacks to you smarter than the fifth grader. Hi. I in Ooh. not in math. <laughs> <laughs> not in math. Okay. So I just have to go through the boss and then we're good. So you say, so I, so I definitely say, definitely not in math and grammar. My grammar is also dookie. <laughs> Written grammar, mostly. Oh, I miss. <laughs> Off you go. Just two. See, why are you faster? Seems unfair. Like this. 
You can say he's the perfect dance partner. Do his demise. It'd be funny if they broke the uh, the ice and he just falls through the ice down to uh, down below. hate anything math. I have purged that all from my brain. Do I remember anything about math? No. So I can't even properly do multiple. <laughs> I can't multiply in my head. Big numbers. I can't do math on the fly. If there's any game that requires you to do math on the fly, you, you guys are going to really figure out how slow it takes my brain to process things. <laughs> Even more so than now. Yay, now that one's done. Now we got Kung Fu and Space. Do this one. We'll say Kung Fu for last. You're not making me do math in any shape, way, or form. No, thanks. I am here for for Princess Peach Showtime, not, not math. Even the easiest of math I do not want to do right now. Ooh, we're starting off here. They abducted our scientists. They must be... Oh, we've got to rescue them. Yay! Prepare for battle. There we go. Oh, he has a health bar. Don't hit him. Oh, his health bar is almost... Uh. No. Nope. I'll be right up in there. I'd rather you hit me than him. Uh, oh, wait, wait, wait. There we go. Oh, why are you in space without a suit? I've actually lost a lot of health on this one. Oh, thank goodness. You could easily mess up that one. Back you go. You can't hit him. He's about to die. That's two at the same time. Assume landing formation. Ready for action. I still do the hands things to count to solve my math. That's okay. It's whatever methods work for you to get the job done. 
Okay. Any place? Oh my god, they've got more sophisticated suits. No one touched my friend. How dare you? You're so cute, but so useless. Thank you for bringing your swords to a fight where I'm punching people to get through. Not there. Aha. If it's stupid and it works, it ain't stupid. But yeah, there you go. Always ask questions. Always do what feels right for you. Whatever it gets you to the end goal, no matter how long it takes. It's all good. It's good to have uh, faster ways of doing things, but sometimes it just doesn't work out that way all the time. Yeah. Well-maintained road. Does that mean the base is up ahead? It might be. <laughs> oh. Oh. Run. You will not reach the base. We need to hurry. Move, move. Uh-oh. No! No! I'll come back for that. Why does it have to be the most easiest one? Look, it's still right there. And I can't go get that. I can't go get that. Now it's mocking me. It's mocking me. I missed two. How did I miss two? Was I supposed to hit the, the ship with the buses? There's a high possibility that's what I had to do. So you didn't steal any of my boys. They came to rescue us. Oh. Pain and suffering. Stop touching my thief. to see everyone safe excellent work i don't know we lost three thieves oh you cannot have them can't be the ufo from earlier oh it has grown arms battle stations everyone my system is charged up and ready to activate. Professor! So are ours! We can do this. Ooh! Oh my god, it's amazing. <gasps> Wait. Yes! Yeah. 
Oh, I've broken so many, so many humble abodes. You will be eliminated. Oh. <laughs> I am Godzilla. Can't believe I missed out on two. Thank you very much. Yeah. It's just the concept of we grew up playing this old PC math games like Math Blaster, but then this new new way ways of learning math, it's like oof. Didn't they also change the way that people sing the alphabet? Just to make things more confusing? Yeah, we saw one and then I lost a few thieves to the the spaceship. And I think that prevented me from getting the second one. For some reason. I'm guessing I might have to throw the buses at the ship so it doesn't pick up the thieves. Gotta go back in. Showtime. <clears throat> this drama mean and drinking a big old jug of ginger ale is really making this work out for me today. We're nearly like 20 minutes off, give or take a four hours, and I feel pretty good. I'm sure there's a possibility I can get it where he doesn't take damage. I don't think that's an extra star or anything, but... We can do our best. Pretty good. Oh, come on. There we are. Eho, <laughs> hey, a weird noise that came out of him. <sighs> yeah, you didn't take damage. There's no letter C in the Skyrim alphabet, by the way. Really? I'm glad Ooh. they decided not to make every NPC a toad. They, they sort of changed it out for the Thebes. Which then is a no whole nother race of uh, companions.
Now don't mess it up this time. Save the buses to probably hit the spaceship to keep it at bay. I think that's exactly what this part is for. I'm hoping. Can I throw it at him? You will not reach the base. Oh, I can. That's exactly what we were supposed to do. I thought we just had to book it. Yeah. Good, 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 good. Easy peasy. <laughs> Clearly, we'll see these characters in another Mario game, right? I mean, there's a possibility. Low possibility, but a possibility. Off my feet. <laughs> now we just gotta deal with the boss. Oh Easy thiepy. <laughs> Easy thiepy. Thiepy. I'm tempted to actually get cake after this. I don't want that carrot cake to go to waste. Godzilla. <laughs> you fell asleep again? Need to get some more sustenance in you. All that miso ramen and all this walking around is making me eepy. Oh, we're all gonna end up eepy. Thank you very much. We can all end up being sleepy. There's a high possibility that I want to take a nap later, but I don't think it'll be a nap. I'll be dead to the world for several hours. I'm lactose intolerant. I'll eat all the cheese. <laughs> Take the lactate, silly. 
You don't need to suffer eating cheese. Okay, um... Oh, I like that one. That one's cute. So pretty. This really looks like we have like one last. No, no, no. It's not that we have one last floor. It's that we have to save the sparklers. Okay. Okay, when, before we do the Kung Fu, we're gonna go take care of the other sparklers real quick, and then we'll come back for the Kung Fu and then save the Kung Fu sparkler. Space sparkler. Dark space and great meteor. Oh, they're so cool looking. Oh, the, the mermaid sparkle is so cute. Cake time, cake time, cake time, cake, cake, cake. Cakey, 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 cakey. After that cake is completely devoured, I should make cinnamon sticks. I'm picking... Oh, the professor... The professor's actually wish. Is that a good thing that the professor... Oh my god, I can't speak. Professor, 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 professor. Professor. Cheesecake sounds like a good option. Hope you're ready for a fight. You're finished. One punch. Get off my platform. The distress signal is weak. I'm going to speed ahead. See, this is not... This is unusual. We usually don't get... No! Usually we don't get an extra thief. You will not interfere. Have you ever had a hundred grand bar? I think that I have. Uh-oh. Nope, nope. Ow. I think I was supposed to throw that at him. No, I was supposed to throw that at him. Oh, well, looks like that's a reset. Hold on. Hundred grand crunchy cake. That sounds delicious. I'm pretty sure that I have to throw that orb at at the guy. <clears throat> that is the only way. The tone of the professor kind of reminds me of Egad. Professor, no! 
There we go. That's what I needed. Give me back the professor. Speaking of EGAD, I need your opinion on something. Have you played Sun... Or I've played some of Sunshine. Shouldn't EGAD be in jail for giving Bowser Jr. that paintbrush? But what if Bowser Jr. stole it? I don't think that he would have given it up willingly. Give me back my professor. Aha. Got you midair. <laughs> professor Garlic Bulb is saved. Any secrets? Secrets. Okay. Oh, there's that one. Goodbye, Professor. I am needed elsewhere. <clears throat> oh. No, he gave it to him willingly. Remember in the cutscene, Bowser Jr. said a gad. He got willingly gave it to him. He could have also been lying, but I don't remember a lot of sunshine. So there is a possibility that I, I'm wrong. Two. Oh, I hope I haven't already missed one. Ooh, there he is. Strange man in a white coat. This really is the best spot for my planet needs me. <laughs> and... Don't let any of them touch the ground. Oh God, now. Don't touch the professor. Oh no, uh, don't touch, no touching. Okay, the shields are unlocked. Cool, cool, cool. Yay! Oh my god. Thanks for rescuing me. Oh my god, they're so cute. They're all so cute. Freedom! Space hero. Oh, I think I need to go Godzilla again. Our escape isn't going to be easy. Never fear. 
We're heroes. Oh. Spaceship? Spaceship time? Do we get to go Gundam mode? Nope, it's just us. Oh, ow. Oh, this is true to oh, oh. Get ready. This is true toad fashion. God dang it. I really hate the ones where it's like, oh, you gotta do every single one of them. Uh huh. Ah. Yeah. Gotta redo it. Thank you very Gotta much. redo it. And I missed the ribbon. Oi! 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 No, I did get the ribbon. What the? Why do I keep feeling like I'm missing the ribbon when I actually get the ribbon? Ugh. Yeah, I got it. I got it. It'd be nice if they just show it all at once so I'm not second guessing myself that I've lost the ribbon. Mm -hmm. Brain too impatient for the ribbon? You bet I'm impatient. Sometimes. Not all the time, but definitely most times. Gotta get back in there. I'm not gonna be able to... I don't have to care about anything else, though. That's good. That's good. How long have we been going for now? Oh, well, it's just about four hours now. I think we saw quite... Quite a bit left. Is the game lagging? The game lags when those when it's in the loading screen. But it doesn't really lag anywhere else, so I think it's just um just the loading screen that does that. Yeah, we are using our friends as nunchucks. And in this case, Peach is using, um, like how she uses Toad and Smash Bros. She uses Toad as a reflector. In this case, I'm tossing my buddy like Bowser tosses Mario in Mario RPG. Get the professor. <laughs> Look, my aim is awful. Sometimes she's just gotta use your friends as projectiles. Sometimes. Oh, 
Onward. Are they really your friends if you don't use other <laughs> use each other as weapons? Yeah. 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 I wonder how difficult it is for voice actors to do uh different languages that are non-existent. Like made up made up gibberish. Wonder how difficult it is to do that and make it sound convincing. That's why me and Peach are besties. Have we ever actually used each other as weapons? I've used you as a meat shield before. I don't know if that counts as besties. That one, the one time that we, uh, we used each other as meat shields for, for Elden Ring. I, I had you take spears for me. Okay, let's see if I can do it this time. I gotta get every single projectile, I guess. If you ever need enti uh, entitled Karen repellent, always have an angry Latina mom. I will personally buy her the slipper that she's going to be smacking people with. I'll get the good slippers. Doesn't this mean I've already messed up? There's no way I was getting some of those. I miss the I don't need There's no way. See, I'm... You know what? Let's skip this one for now. I'm gonna go to the mermaid one. I don't know how it expects me to get one of those. What the heck? See, I missed some in the beginning, but I don't know when it starts up. Do you, I guess you might have to get every single projectile. And I don't know if that's before you start using him as a projectile or it's at the beginning when you're punching things. Well, that's fine. I mean, I Is there really anything if you get all the stars? What if I just miss one? One singular star that goes missing? I do this one now. Showtime. At the end of this, he smiles with a few teeth or <laughs> a few teeth are missing in a black eye. Maybe it's a teamwork thing. Yeah. It, it did look like I missed a few, though, with with how I was punching. I 
And then there was one that was all the way down at the bottom. And it seems like that one was really easy to miss. Bubbles. Where could the sparkler be? I have an idea. must be the singer. Oh. Did I miss out on some things because that didn't want to open? Can I go back? Oh, no, they're key. They Wait, there's one that's missing. There's one, there's one up top. Hold on. You have quite a voice. Thank you. Now let's get out of this awful place. Excuse me. Hold on. Excuse you. One moment. There was, a, there was a red shell there that I needed to open. Missing stuff. It feels so bad when you miss it right at the beginning. We can get this one. And then there is a red one too. See, how do I get that one? What the fudge? How is there something that I've already missed? What if I'm not supposed to get that one? Or what if there was something else at the beginning? Give me the other red shell. Oh, I, it's the Ribbon Man. Hold on, let me let me try resetting again. Was there something else that I missed beforehand? Before... What? Is there something over here that I'm supposed to be getting? Okay. Where could the sparkler be? I don't see anything. <laughs> now I'm confused. Time has what? There's a couple of them. It's up there. Surely I can get that. I 
There we go. There's our ribbon. Oh, here we are. Why did it not let me move forward before? My confusion is great. Confusion is immense. There we are. It's funny how this one would be the first star when you don't think that a first star would be on this one. Now we can get the right shells. Sometimes the shells don't always connect with the with the fish either. Look how cute she is. So adorable. Now oh, onwards. The whirlpools are getting stronger. Oh boy. Who is the urchin? What? Giant whirlpools are the cause. Uh, the cause of this. Her little tail is so cute. We have to deal with these whirlpools. I, I think I know what to do. I gotta sing. How, how do they sing or talk without mouths? Ooh, I got my own pink sea turtle. I think I missed one. Did I miss it? No, I got it. I got it. Good, good. That was beautiful. I thought very, for a very brief moment that I missed one of the fish. Thank you very much. Yay! Multicolored mermaid ribbon. We're gonna have to put that on them. Yay! Other than a rocky start, that went a lot smoother than the other one. Mermaid Peach would have or give Ariel a run for her money. Yeah, the beautiful voice that she has. Mm. Uh -huh. I hope we can perform a do it again sometime. Yay! The 
The mermaid ribbon is cute. Put her in that one. So cute! Peach sing a long time? No, 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 no. Oh, that one's so pretty. No, I couldn't possibly... I couldn't possibly sing like that. And here is where I'm gonna miss like a good third of the stars in here. They gotta go save the figure skater Sparkla. Yeah, the pastels are really pretty. Blue and pink. <laughs> Not really surprising that they'd be here too. Why is it sometimes I bounce off of them, but don't actually hurt them? Good. Uh, it's probably gonna do this to me later too. Just don't have me jump on a pillar, please. There they are. Look, it's the sparkle. We'll save you. Oh dear, Stella, you came for me. The dance off. When will he ever give up? Uh, hey. I'm going to witness my great performance or maybe you like that sparkler are here to trip me up. We're good. Oh, cat wants out. Oh no. <laughs> Give me a moment. Oh my god, look at her little hair piece. Oh my goodness. With the face laying the cat out, thank you. Let's go. Whoa. Oh, boy. Nope. 
I gotta go back. Good, 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 good. Got it. That's a good picture. Thank you so much. We've done it. It's not actually turned out too bad. It's just the space one of this that is preventing me from getting one singular star. <laughs> How dare it? It's the only one. Now we're gonna go back up and get the kung fu. I say the Kung Fu Sparkler. Mm -hmm. Your performance was riveting. Yay. Okay, now we can go back upstairs. We'll get the Kung Fu. And then come back down. After we defeat the boss. We're almost there. There might be a possibility that that one star is just gonna... It's just gonna stay there. Because I don't know if I want to keep going through that same motion just to get one singular star right before the end. How many breaks did I take? What do you mean? What do you mean by break? Oh, should I? It's actually four and a half hours. Maybe I should go take a bathroom break real quick. Welcome. Welcome back. Sifu. I'll, I'll finish this one and then I will go take a small bathroom break. This, oh, there's something back here. That's a, that was a very nice small indicator that something was back here because you can see the light on the ground. Oh dear. I'm the sec. Oh, I hear the crinkles. The crinkly audio. It was doing so well before. What? 
Wait, why? Nothing yet. Aren't you bold? You take out multiple of them at the same time. How dare they challenge me? Okay. All right, me one sec. Yeah, Helldivers, Helldivers is a lot for, for, um, breath or computers. So far, I've learned that any Kirby game with, uh, Hell Laboratory, there will be two endings. Yeah, with, yeah, definitely with 100%ing the game. He tossed her at me. Okay, good. This is the first star. Thank you. That's Sparkla. Just normal. Oh my goodness. Stop kidnapping people. Oh, hello, good sir. Off my bridge. Okay. <laughs> oh, playtime is over for now. Oh my goodness, the no the, sa the, the sound effects. This looks breakable. Why does that look so weird? It looks like a breakable wall. I think I messed up getting something back there. Oh, I didn't. Okay. Good, good. Kung Fu Beach. Woo! There's something back here. Oh. Two things, maybe. Kung Fu Peach destroy you? I don't think- I don't think that Kung Fu Peach will, uh, purposely smack you in the face. What? Don't for, forget to take a bathroom break. I don't feel like I need to go to the bathroom, but I will after after I finish this this run, I will go to the bathroom. Oh, there isn't actually anything back here. See, this is what I mean by the misleading. You have other places that look just like this, but there's no item back here. It's tricking me. Thank 
you. There's wait, there's stuff back here. Wait, there's stuff up there. Is it just coins? Visible alley wall. Oh, there it is. Yay! Invisible alley wall. Such misled very well. <laughs> come back here. Come back. Baby, come back. Baby, come back. Please. Bet you if Princess Peach told her to take a bathroom break, she would listen. But I, 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 I said, I don't need a bathroom break, but I'm going to take it after this match. Oh, crap. There we go. Tennis. Oh. There we go. Wee 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 Yeah. See this one I got it all. Yep. Ooh, purple. We're gonna put that. We're gonna see what that looks like. Easy thiepy. Easy thiepy. Eepy thiepy. Eepy. The cake was tasty. Good, good, good. I'm glad you had good cake. Yeah, bathroom break. Whoop. Yay. That's odd. Normally one of those, those dark doors would be popping up now. Does this mean Grape completed her preparations and the theater is done for? But maybe there's something we haven't considered yet. There's got to be something. Pictures. Oh, we haven't rescued all the sparklers. If we can't do anything uh, here, the next logical place is in the basement where Grape traps the sparklers. Let's go. We only have one more sparkler to save. Okay, so all of this stuff was completely finished. The only thing that we have not finished. Is a stupid space hero. Oh, and cake, apparently? Did I not finish that? What? Did I miss stuff on there, too? Oh, it's so cute. Kung Fu.
Okay. Oh. We're missing a ribbon in the basement with the ninja. Missing it. Oh. We're missing another ribbon. What the heck? Why did I miss? What? Okay. Oh, that's cute. Okay, I'm gonna go to the basement. And then we'll take a bathroom break. There was an eyeball eraser on the floor? Ew. Somebody still had a uh, Halloween eraser. Did I miss these ones? See, there's the Kung Fu one. The Dark School and the Twisted Fist. I missed one for that one? Is that due to the boss? That one's missing its ribbon. That one's fine. This one's missing the second to last star. So I guess we'll do this one. This oh, this is the one where I think that we missed the the three cookies. Okay. We're gonna finish up these ones. And then we're gonna go save the Kung Fu Sparkler. Um I might not get the Space Hero one on stream. But I'll probably like finish finish that part off stream but we're gonna try to get the other ones and then we'll do the kung fu and then go for the last boss and see what happens i'll be right back uh give me a few minutes go stretch your legs go grab a snack go grab something to drink i'll be right back i'm gonna go to the bathroom
I'm back. And jokes on you, Wisp. I actually really didn't need to go. I went, but I really didn't need to go. Yeah, breaks are very important. Um, I usually, I typically take mine around the the two, like the three hour mark. But I guess j because I didn't have the urge to go that. I forgot about it. But even if you don't need to go to the bathroom, it's good to check to see if you can and stretch those leggies. We've all been sitting down for probably way too long. Showtime. You gotta stretch those muscles. I actually knocked over my bag of snacks onto the floor and that's where it's going to stay until stream is over. <laughs> it gets to sit there and then I'll and then I'll, I'll clean it up after. Yeah, sometimes I will pet the cats too on on um my bathroom breaks cuz sometimes they'll come up and greet me if they haven't been spending time with me in the room. Gotta make sure that they get attention. Whoop. Sometimes the cats will follow me back into the room or follow me into the bathroom. Stacks down, Code Red. It's okay. They're all, they they are all in boxes and bags, so they're none of them are opened in there. So it'll be fine. They can stay there for now. And I do not have a cat in here right now, so they will not be going after the boxes. We gotta make sure we bake cookies properly this time. Yeah. 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 
<laughs> oh, she's such a she has such a cute petticoat underneath the dress too. I've been waiting for you. Cake decorator. <laughs> Time to decorate cakes in panic. be additional whipped cream bake-offs like this a thing um i think people do decorate cakes competitively i don't think they decorate them like this though i don't think they're there i don't think i've seen any cake competition where the cake is like this big i think i think the only competition i've seen with cake or with confectionery that is massive are sugar sculptures chocolate sculptures uh gingerbread houses i think we're Another one? You had a tasty cake and some milk? I think that's what I'll be doing after stream if I don't snack on on some tempura seaweed crackers. I'm going to also get cake, but I'm going to make myself uh, some more coffee and or tea. Is my coffee still hot? Probably not. It's been four. It's been about five hours. Well, it still tastes good. It's not hot anymore, but it still tastes good. Okay, this one's definitely making the cookies. And I have to make the cookies with her so I can get the good cookies. I can get it this time. I know I can. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. <laughs> I guess we've got no choice. Time for cookie bake off. Cookie time. <laughs> See what the fudge. Whoop. It's two. Dang it. And put the cookies up there. Yay. That's 
three of those. He still stole my cookies! And see, he automatically puts his cookies up there too. Cookies. This is star for us this time. Wee. I used to love watching th uh, those uh, sugar sugar sculpture competitions on the Food Network. It's so much fun. Also, very nerve wracking when the when the um the sugar sculptures would break because they had to carry it they had to carry it all the way to the table too <laughs> well they have to do magnificent cakes or chocolate sculptures or sugar sculptures and they still have to get them to carry it to the present or Presentation table? That is the most mind-boggling part of the competition. <laughs> Delicious. Thank you. Okay, so there's two two stars and a ribbon I need to find. Made a rap a raptor of chocolate. There it is. It's so cute too. Okay, two. I think the ninja one might just be a dress. Or it might be a ribbon for for Stella. You're the one that I'm missing a star on. There is one crazy person that does content on on YouTube, I think. Or maybe it's not even YouTube. Maybe it's all reposts that I've seen. There's a man that creates crazy chocolate sculptures. And they're magnificent, but you also think how and why and for what reason. <laughs> Hello, my horse. Up that horse. Miss getting up there. Oh. Maybe it's because I jumped at the wrong time at the end. Or the other one. Last time, too. I'm coming, buddy. Thank you, puppet horse. <laughs> she 
treat you to a glass of milk. A glass of milk? I think it was because I jumped at the wrong time uh, before getting to the last area. We're almost to the end. Yeah, I already got that, so I don't have to worry about that one. Oh, it's because I had to protect all of the panels, wasn't it? There's something that I had to protect all of. Hi. We already have the ribbon, so I don't have to worry about him. Oh, I will get him anyway. do it this time. I don't remember what it is I have to do, but I'll do it. Milk! Oh my god! See, he already took out the... Th Dang it! Supposed to keep him completely at bay. Ah. Uh, you know what? That can also stay behind. We're gonna, we're gonna go, go do the Kung Fu one. We're gonna go do Kung Fu. Leave. Two things that I've hated so far is horror. Uh, going back and forth on the horse and figure skating. <laughs> milk, 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 milk. Oh, I see what you said now. <laughs> Question, does the, the concept of powdered milk seem weird to drink? I don't think it's weird to drink powdered milk. I mean, if you're drinking just... If you're attempting to drink just the powder or with no liquid at all, then that's a little bit different. Let's go. Then there might be a little bit of judging. Then the question is, why is it why is that your autocorrect? Why why does why does it autocorrect milk to to that? I think that's a more concerning question. Put powdered milk in your milk for more milk per milk. Extra milk. Yeah, I don't... <laughs> I don't think that situation's much better either. I don't think it's a good thing that it's autocorrecting milk. There's the ribbon. There's something back here. Aha! I'm glad I went back. If putting powdered milk in your milk, would it make it milkier? Like a richer tasting of milk? A thicker milk? Oh. 
now. Oh my god. There we go. Would it be a thicker milk? I'm pretty sure people have done this before. That's a word for the dictionary. <laughs> I'm currently imagining the difference between fat-free and whole milk, but you're upgrading the whole milk to double milk. But the thing is, fat fat-free milk is like somebody who rinsed out a cup of milk and that's your milk. That is the wateriest milk. No, I mean powdered milk and then adding water. Well, I mean, isn't it still milk? You're just rehydrating the milk? Saw a faint glitter up there. Good. Is there anything? I, I think I think there might have been something I missed. I might have missed one. <gasps> the Kung Fu Sparkle has been captured. <gasps> Madame Great, Great. <laughs> the only time I put that word in was when I was gate when I gave my ex coworker the man I love frog shirts. <laughs> I swear on my Shantae collection. I put that word in when I gave my ex coworker the man I love frog or man I love frogs shirt. Oh. Was that the same? Uh, when's that be around the same time? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The man I love frogs. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. There we go. Ah, the timing. Not too shabby. Oh. Oh. 
Seems a little unfair. A whole... Yeah, I missed one. I knew I missed one. Oh my goodness. It's always one! It's always one! I pressed the wrong button initially. Whoop. Yay! I was taking a picture at the same time that I probably should have been paying attention to the button smashing. Thank you. Goodness. Oh, the purple and blue is really nice, too. We're going to go for Madam Grape. We're going to go fight Madam Grape now. They're not, there's not another pasta I have to do after this, right? It's just Madam Grape. Not anything before Madam Grape. A strong technique is key on the path to mastery. There we go. Three single stars. <laughs> Haunting Peach with her inherent frustration. Yeah, this one is probably easy. I would just have to go back through. This one's a pain in the butt. I don't like it. Same thing with the space one. Don't like it. The other one, I just have to find the ribbon, but... It's like everywhere, everywhere else. We are done. And it's just these... Five buttholes. Three stars, two ribbons. Oh, that's nice too. There's so many nice colors. Dapper. Okay. How difficult is Madam Grape going to be? This power, or this is a power more potent than anything we face. I'm scared, but we can do it together. Okay, let's do this. Uh, Peach, we've got the power of sparkle on our side. Can you give me some of the sparkle gems you've collected? Give me 30. Why do I have so many then? I have 117 left. I didn't use nearly as many as there is in every stage. I wonder if you'll do a little bit of everything or all as base peach. Oh, I didn't even think about that. It's not working. Does Sparkle not work on this door? My friends. The power of Sparkler. Look at them all. The power of friendship. All you need now are our Sparkler spirits and our love for this theater. We're placing our trust in you two. Oh, is this the ultimate peach? <gasps> oh, 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 oh. Ooh. <gasps> oh. Oh. Oh, I 
missed it. Oh, I love it. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god, she's beautiful. They were gonna get- Oh! Oh! Oh, they were gonna give us a new dress. Oh my god, it's beautiful. We got everyone's dress. Oh, where's Sai? This is Sai's dress right here. Oh, it's gorgeous. I need people. I need to see cosplays of this one. This I don't. None of the other ones. I need to see cosplays of this one specifically. Wow. She's beautiful. She's so pretty. Beware her ribbon sparkles. Oh my god. Oh my god, she's so pretty. She's gorgeous. Oh my Oh I love her. I love her so much. Oh, that's amazing. <laughs> Welcome to my glorious stage. I've been waiting for you, Peach. <laughs> Your brilli uh, brilliant lesser has built up everyone's hopes and expectations in the bigger. <laughs> I'll just let you read. <laughs> the ultimate stage. <laughs> oh, this will be fun. Oh, I can't wait to see what I'm doing. Ooh. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, so they block. This is. I don't know if there's a second phase. Air. She seems like a puppet herself, so I wonder. If there is another boss after this. Well, there's a train. How do you block the train? Oh, I can go up and down. What the heck? I thought I could only go side to side. Presence, oh God.
Oh, there's helicopters too. Oh, I can't. Oh, there we go. By the power of sparkle. It's a mask. So it's it's just like the mask that we've seen in the um the museums too. No, it's not over yet. Oh, it's so pretty. Oh. We did it. Thank you so much, Peach. Your sparkle is truly amazing. I don't feel like this is the end. The theater is going to be okay now. Let's go back to everyone. No, you're leaving the mask behind. No, you're leaving the mask behind. Are they telling me that there's going to be a sequel here? Or, no, second phase. Fourth phase? Fifth phase? Something. Too much... Much too soon. Or too soon, much too soon. My dark powers are destined to dull your incessant sparkle and such a magnificent tragedy will be played out. That looks so cool. Oh, it's a black hole. The cutscenes are beautiful in this game. Oh? Where are we now? What are we doing? Oh. Uh, oh. Huh? The theater. <gasps> the theater, no! Oh. Oh, that's so neat looking. Our, our theater, it's in pieces. We can rebuild. If Grape continues unchecked, the entire island will be destroyed. Once more, the power of Sparkla. Oh, they're all alive. What is this, a Kirby boss? It does look like a Kirby boss. Oh my god, it's beautiful. Once again. Oh. Oh, it's a little different. She's like an ice queen. I'm taking so many pictures. Look at her, she's even more magnificent! Oh, this really does feel like... Can I take out the hand? Oh my god! Wait, let's see. Hold B to attack. Oh, that's it! This is magnificent. She's beautiful. Oh, oh, oh. This is so nice looking. can't wait to see cosplay of this. I gotta look this up. See if there, anybody has already made something like this. You're gonna have to find some really cool fabric for this. Oh, 
Ooh. You know what would look really good with this one? The fiber optics fabric. This would be one expensive dress. Magical girl peach. And it's like Competo that's coming off of her dress too. It's so lovely. Oh, ow. That hit the corner of my dress. Okay, okay, okay. This feels so much like a Kirby boss and I'm living for it. so many phases holy crap oh oh go 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 We've done it. But where is Peach? Where is she? Oh, that's so cinematic. Oh, but the island. Oh. Yeah. Welcome back, Jack. Oh, it's so. Oh, my God. I can't, I can't not take pictures. She's too beautiful for this. She was too pretty. She's too pretty. I can't not. She's finally over. Ah, we've done it. It only took us forever in a day. I hope they have something at the end of the credits. just visualize you just standing there taking pictures with a big old smile on your face yeah it's like the proud dad <laughs> it's like the proud dad taking pictures of his children doing something cute you gotta capture all the beautiful moments
Maybe, maybe you get extra special pictures if you have all the stars. That's a possibility. Which means there's, there's probably more. Pretty star dress needs a cosplay. Yes. And there's two different versions of the dress too. It's so pretty. Sigh, sigh. Just imagine that dress with the fiber optic um, uh, fabric. That cosplay would be one of the most expensive cosplays with the fiber optic fabric. And then you have lights inside the crown too. Mm. I hope I see somebody do that next year or or sometime soon. I need to see this in a competition and it needs to win. There is so many great cosplay opportunities for this game, but the best one, the best one has to be the dress at the end. So gorgeous. Your favorite is the sci-fi peach, the, the space hero outfit. That one is really cute. I really love the detective and the phantom thief. But the, the, um, the figure skater is so pretty too. Beautiful. Yeah, figure skater and mermaid. I knew those two would be your favorite. You can't get past these kinds of designs. I want to see the concept art of this. So many people working on this. Spends my life savings just to hold Princess Peach's hand. It's a fabric that when you shine light through it, it makes it look like there's strings of light throughout the fabric. No, 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 no. The, the fiber optic, um, the fiber optic fabric is actual wiring inside of the fabric so the fabric actually lights up this is expensive fabric and think uh a fabric that you have to know how to work with because it actually has wiring to be to be lit up Yeah, it has LEDs within it. There's my crown! There's her crown! No, it's just the way that you said it at first made it seem like it didn't it, like you were shining just light through the fabric. No, this is it has actual electricity bits in it. Yeah, it's not a dress that you could get wet. Look at that toad. Remind me of Rosalina's dress. The bell sleeves and everything. 
Or it's not bell sleeves. What is it? Mage, mage sleeves? The wizard-esque kind of sleeves? Aww. He puts the crown right back on her. I don't know if it's bell sleeves or not, because usually bell sleeves are a little bit different. Maybe a different category of bell sleeves, maybe. Yay, look at the wall. They finally get to enjoy a show now. Only after such hardship do they do they get to go to the theater without issue. I wasn't stealing it from myself. I was holding on to it. We're, we don't want it to get lost. Big Nintendo logo. Special dress is now on sale. Talk to the sh <gasps> What? You can now decorate the... Th I can decorate the theater? You can now take on the nin the hide and seek challenge. Talk with the ninja sparkler for details. You can now talk uh, take on boss challenges. Check the posters near the stairs for details. <gasps> I can decorate. Hold on. What? It's called angel sleeves? No wonder. She she is an angel. Showtime. Yes. Let me see. <laughs> hey Peach, you must have read my letter. Everyone uh, here wants to see more of your performances. Would you perform for us in the Sparkle Theater again? I like how she doesn't, or she still doesn't have her crown in here. There's more you can do here now as well. Let's look around together. Gotta buy, gotta buy, gotta buy, gotta buy dresses. Gotta buy dresses. Beach over here. Gotta buy dresses. Gotta get dresses. Oh, there's two. Oh, that's cute. Oh, that's really cute. Oh, that's so cute. Oh, that's awesome. Uh, oh. <gasps> oh. Give me. Fantastic. Give it. Give it to me. Give me that one. Nice. Oh my god. That one's cute too. Oh, look at that one. Oh. Oh my god. Wait a sec. Wait, what was this other one? What was this? I'm so relieved that grape is gone. Words cannot express my gratitude. But I trouble you for help with one more thing. You see, I'd like to use the power of sparkle gems to decorate- Oh, this is what the extra ones are for. <gasps> I do have a dress addiction. Would you like to help me decorate so we can delight the visitors? Yes. 
Yes. Oh. Ooh. Oh. Oh. <gasps> Give me that one. Somehow there is many more. Interesting. Okay. I need 20 more? 18 more? How? Where do I get those? I buy that. Yes. That's so pretty. Buy this. Yay! It might be due to the new challenges. Fantastic! Yes. This space dress. Oh my god! Me this. This one's getting put on right away. Buy this one. I get everything? Yeah. Uh, yeah, there might be more sparkles in a different way. Look at that! Wow! Wait, let's go to the fifth floor. Specifically. Bye, Grima. Sleep well. Have a great night. Oh, look at that. I kind of wish it was still dark in here. This would look so pretty. Literally only a couple. Oh. Here's the last picture, but look at that. This I guess this is for going through all the boss fights again. Oh, we have just about just about all the music too. Oh, oh. Uh, ah! oh. <laughs> uh. This is pretty. This is mm. 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 Oh my god. To the dookie part of the wife, oh, dookie part of the the, the wife's side, side of the school. Good luck, Wiz. Inspiration for a new model? No, I could never. I could never make something this glorious. Just wow. Because the edge of the fabric is. Oh. Oh my god. Look at that. Ooh. 
Oh my god, this is a... Like I said before, this is a cosplayer's dream come true. You can look at every inch of this dress. Wow. Look at that. Oh my god, it's so pretty. Wow. They had no they had no right making her this gorgeous. Holy monkey. They gave us not one, but two beautiful dresses. Wow. <sighs> it's just it's so good. It's so good. It's like now looking at this compared to looking at this, everything else is mediocre. Oh. She's beauty and she's grace. Look at that crown. Wow. Yeah, you use like iridescent um, film over some plastic and keep it hollow and put lights in that. Mm. And her earrings look like big giant pearls. Wow. I'm sorry, I, I should probably stop looking at this now. Oh, I love it when they do this. They they need to do this in every single video game that has designs like this. They need to make it so you can see it the way that you can see it in this game. Amazing. What happens if I go back down to the basement? Please spam me all the new Princess Peach pictures. I will do so. And okay, there she is. It's showtime. Grape. Avoid defeating any dancers. Win the battle against Grape without taking damage. And win the battle against Grape, the great without taking damage. And I get, that gives us more stars. Wait, let's go to the fourth floor. This game is beyond my expectations. Oh, look at that. That's... Oh, it's so pretty. I love the stars. Oh, okay, so... To fight the bosses again, you... Cool beans. Okay. Defeat Spot Lion with only striped orbs. Defeat Spot Lion with nine or fewer returned orbs. Win the fight without taking damage. Yeah, this is where you get all the extra... It's where you... It's where you get all the extra sparklers. Is this for the rest of decorating? Look, there's the cat! 
Avoid being hit by the cat's paw or tails. Defeat projector cat with using only three mice. So that means you cannot mess up whatsoever. Maybe I'll come back to this and do an endurance thing at some point and retry to get those those bosses done. This game was so good. The the boss fights were so unique and really fun. It it really reminds me of how unique Kirby bosses are. Love it. They did such a good job with this game. It's visually stunning. Each of the areas have such unique gameplay. Your face is unique, you butthole. <laughs> so don't compliment me while I'm talking. <laughs> this is the title screen. Your face is visually stunning. Oh, it only took me, however, for just about six hours. Uh, there's still more stuff. Look how beautiful. I think this will be our last Princess Peach Showtime stream for for a while until I decide to do something with the bosses. Maybe, maybe we'll have this, uh, when I start getting closer to a thousand subscribers, there are certain things I, I was trying to figure out what to do to do for endurance stream until like it, it hit a thousand. I think this will be added to the roster. Yeah, the rest is doing perfect runs. I love this game. The music was beautiful. Cutscenes beautiful. Gameplay awesome. Love it. Love it, love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. Like Galaga clone. Oh no, I gotta think of some stuff to do around that time frame because it's still quite a bit away. What is it at right now? We're at 812. I think it's gotten, gotten a tad bit stagnant, so it's kind of been fluctuating around this this number. But we're we're almost there. We're getting there. I'm so excited. Maybe try playing Metroid games. Those kinds of stuff's horror too. Yeah, I I thought about playing Hell Divers by myself, but I don't know if I can. I don't know if I can. I can do the bugs by myself. Um, I do have a few ideas for a couple of horror games to play because I, I have, I have some that are, are shooters, some that you have to sneak around. And let me open up Steam real quick. There's a publisher sale going on. Oh, there's patch notes for Helldivers. Should look at those. I was playing content warning. I might, uh, after I get uh, permission from uh, some of my friends, because I was playing content warning uh, with them. And I think that some of the... <laughs> Some of the clips that I've saved from um, from playing Content Warning, I think I might want to post as YouTube shorts, uh, but I had to get their permission first because uh, some of the funnier bits have their voices in it. I really need to spend time posting shorts and editing shorts. But I find that once I once I'm out of streaming, I I somehow get kind of mentally exhausted for some reason. 
and then I'm hanging out with friends and doing other things around the house and then I kind of forget about it. I need to prioritize. Oh my god, please do, please. I cackled at the ones you showed me. Yeah. I'll talk with them about it. Hopefully, hopefully it would be okay with them. Sounds like Turt might be down to help you. We shall see. We shall see how it goes. You still laugh at the Fall Guys ones? So you so you just act like a normal person? Yeah, I mean, that, that is true. There, there's some people that have so much energy that they don't know what to do with it. Um, or not necessarily energy, but they have the motivation to do so. But I, I feel like I get a little bit sidetracked when I'm doing other things and some other things get lost in the mix. And I don't know how to... I don't really know how to kind of fix that, especially if you're already like tired both physically and mentally and then continuing to do other things. I don't have the resilience that I had uh, back when I was uh, working retail. I think that sucked all of the life out of me. <laughs> Four years of retail. <laughs> Four years of retail is not fun. Especially at the store that I worked at. If you worked at the store that I worked at, you'd be... You'd be set for any other store that is retail related. Cur yeah, cursed retail. Highly recommend to work at once, but it's only for a set amount of time. Work a seasonal bit of... of of uh retail jobs just so you know how grueling that they are and you have a little bit more appreciation for those that stay in it longer than the rest of us people people are amazing youtubers are amazing content creators are amazing the the amount of time that they dedicate to to creating content especially those that do not have managers or editors or um artists that they commission to have money to do so people who are doing it solely by themselves are so cool props to the people that do everything themselves if my body didn't give out i would probably still be working retail yeah my my body gave out mentally well sort of physically as well um i don't feel like that i have well i won't say that i i was physically okay while still working retail because i think that i was definitely pushing myself way past the limits just just not telling anybody that i was doing so <laughs> Yeah, that's the fun part. That's the fun part of, be, of being the type of person that doesn't tell people things. And then when you when you actually have things to do uh, and you're already past the point of exhaustion and you're continuing to do things, it's not really good. <laughs> it's not a good thing, but people still do it anyway. Um, I'm going to wrap it up here. Before we go any further, it has been six hours. I, th I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Take care of yourself. Feel better for those who are sick. Make sure to, to get some vitamin C. Sleep as much as you can. Thanks for the stream. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to feed yourself. Even soup and crackers. Anything that can give you at least a little bit of sustenance is always a good thing. Sleep well when you go to bed. Have good dreams. I'll see you next time. I gotta go make thumbnails. I've kind of procrastinated. I'm gonna go get cake and then and then I'm gonna I'm gonna work on some stuff. I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.
I hope you enjoyed Princess Peach Showtime, because I did. <laughs>